So, so last Monday I wrote on Coursera and I started learning Python with the Google IT Automation with Python Professional Certification. This program is made of six courses about IT automation using Python, of course, and Python is one of the most in-demand programming languages and one of the must learn languages in the IT industry for 2020. And today is Sunday and it's the end of my first week of learning Python. And by the way, my name is Fabio, I'm a full stack software engineer and I'm a freelance. Uh, I must say, wow, I'm really impressed about the Python syntax that is much easier if we can if we compare it with other programming languages and it's much more readable as i say there are six courses on this certification i say that yeah maybe well there are six, six courses inside this certification each course it should take about six weeks to complete it might take less if depending on your learning speed the first course of the series is the one I'm currently doing and it's crash course on Python and the estimation uh, estimated time to complete it's about six week one week per module uh, but depending on your learning speed it might take you less time and at the end of my first week I have already done three modules uh, which is three weeks of work uh, and I would probably have completed the fourth week maybe I could have started the fifth week if I didn't get stuck uh, on a few math problems uh, since in this course there are some uh, parts where we uh, mostly in loops section where we covered some of the math mathematical problems that was quite a while I didn't hear about them uh, since probably I was in school which was ages ago like factorial numbers and a bunch of other math problems uh, that made really a challenge uh, that made my week a real challenge uh, so why Python in 2020 Python is the language to learn uh, from my point of view uh, it's a general purpose language and it has many use cases uh, with this certification that I'm taking the goal will be uh, use Python to automate tasks that will take you forever to do manually like for instance count how many files are in the file system or replace a string in, of text in a bunch of configuration files or for example my wife has millions of pictures in really cool pictures by the way and they are all spread around their computer all uh, messed around without clear um, folder structure and probably one of the first things i will do uh, is to write a script to sort and organize all our pictures and i can't wait to start learning python and how to use it to interact with the operating system which should be the second course or the third course I don't remember um, so we'll be in a while probably uh, automate tasks is one of the many things that we can do with Python uh, that is uh, also popular for things like artificial intelligence and machine learning that will be my next goal that will be my next goal yes and so far, so far learning Python has been quite easy for me since I already know other programming, programming languages and the, basic, the basics are quite similar between them. Uh, a few differences that I noticed so far uh, well, are probably uh, how functions are defined in Python. The syntax is much simpler, uh, the importance of the indentation um, how variables are defined and data structures and new and a new loop that I never heard it, which is the recursion uh, while and four loops are quite similar to like programming languages like PHP and JavaScript uh, so uh, 
um, but the recursion was really new to me. Uh, if and else statements and comparisons were pretty much the same uh, in PHP, however, the syntax is much simpler no parentheses, no square brackets, no curly brackets, just colon. Uh, that makes the uh, program itself really uh, easy to, to read for, for, for that. Uh, and it was a challenge so far. Uh, probably uh, the most challenging part it, it was for me the week thir three, uh, the third module. Uh, there was about loops, uh, and despite they are common to many programming languages like while loops, for loops, uh, uh, as I say, the recursion was quite new. But the most difficult part was solving some math problems that I didn't hurt for a while uh, and that was really a challenge uh, that made my week a bit longer <laughs> uh, it took me ages to figure out some of them actually I was stuck on uh, one problem of the course uh, which took me an hour probably to figure out uh, and it was quite frustrating uh, but at the end uh, now, at the end of the, each module, there is a graded assessment and you need to score at least 80% 80% to pass. And so far, all good for me. Uh, all passed, all three weeks. And I'm at the beginning of the fourth module uh, that is about learning the basic structures uh, like strings and string methods um, and other stuff like um, lists and uh, another thing which is uh, what was the name uh, dictionaries that, that I really have no clue what it is but uh, something interesting that I found so far is the way you we can index in we can uh, find the index of a string uh, like we do for a race in PHP with square brackets and the number inside it to find the index like to find just a character in a string uh, because strings are zero based and we can iterate through strings in Python uh, which is that is cool I think and the next uh, the next week which is this week the one I'm doing now at the moment is the week week four uh, it's about as I say the data structures uh, and I'm learning uh, a bit more about I should learn a bit more about lists and from my understanding lists should be like arrays in PHP and other programming languages we can integrate through them using loops and completely new things uh, is the dictionaries and I have no idea what they are uh, we will see and that it's that's it for now I mean that's it for this first video log about learning Python with Google and I'll see you next week uh, I hope to complete more modules uh, I'm at the week four uh, and to complete I need to pass the assessment of the week six and as I say instead of working on a module for each week I've done the first three uh, this week and I will probably do the other three the next week and I hope to complete the entire certification quickly uh, unless I got, I got stuck with other math problems hopefully not see you soon cheers <laughs>